I think um, to get to another point here um, about the case for the free market and the case for liberty and the case against statism, I think it's very important to do, to do two things. One, to refute the intellectual content. It was to show that statism doesn't work. That's great. I'm against it. I'm all for it. I do it most of the time. But there's something else which I think is also important, namely to show it's not just intellectual error. Okay, this is where I agree with the public choice people. It's not just intellectual error. People aren't that dumb. A lot of people benefit from this stuff. We have to expose the fact that, that, that they are ripping us off. And one of the advantages of this is it gets people hung on the collar, as they should do, as they should. In other words, if you say, well, uh, the farm price support program is a beautiful example of this. It doesn't work. It's, it's irrational, et cetera, et cetera. It's all true. It hurts the consumer. Uh, people will say, yeah, OK. And they sort of walk off. They don't really care that much. It's like my students or any, anybody else that's students in the classroom. <laughs> but if you say, they're ripping us off. These are a bunch of thieves. They're looting our pocket. Then they start, you know, they, they, they pay attention. They're interested. It rouses them from their usual torpor. <laughs> so, the, so the moral argument is actually an extremely important one, and even from utilitarian grounds. <clears throat> For example, take the farm price support program. Okay? Farm price support program is, quote, irrational, unquote. It's the old way of looking at it. Okay? You pay the, the taxpayer pays the farmer. Uh, tax, taxpayers pay is fleeced. The government pays the farmer to produce less, or sometimes not to produ not produce at all. And then prices go, supply goes down, prices go up. If the, if the cheese or whatever it is is stored some, in, in some warehouse and for many years. Uh, in addition to all of that, uh, the, 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 the Department of Agriculture is also paying farmers to produce more, increase their productivity, to irrigate, in the old days to electrify, to increase fertilizer. So it seems totally crazy. Why is the government paying people, the farmers, one, to produce more, and two, to produce less? Okay. It's irrational from the point of view of the consumer, from the point of view of the economic system. It's not irrational, however, from the point of view of two groups. One, the big farmers, we get paid to produce more and to produce less. They great. That's great. They love it. Two, the Department of Agriculture increases bureaucracy tenfold to run these programs. Okay, so we have a cozy, a cozy uh, coalition between the Department of Agriculture and the large farmers. That's they are ripping us off. I think this this sets this thing a historical point better than simply a, a, a sort of a logical critique of the program, or in addition, in, the, in addition to that.